Blah, 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 blah. Intro thing. Give him a minute. Blah, blah, blah. Give him a minute. All right. Nobody's even looking yet. <laughs> Nobody's on yet. I was just saying, I was doing the intro theme. Mm. Dun, 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 you know? Oh, we're trying to, so they can see us, huh. but they're not actually clicking on We're anything. trying to, to get some viewers here, and then we're going to start. All right, I don't know if we... Hang it in there. Let me ask you this. Is this recorded for the... This records, yeah. Oh, it does, records, yeah. So the people could replay at a future date. Yep. Okay, here we go. Here we go. My viewers. Five. Here we go. This is definitely better to look at than the last one, I would say, right? Yeah, that last setup was... Diana, hello. What up? How are you doing? What's up, Shell? All right, we'll wait till it gets to like 50 or something. Yeah, look at that. Climbing. Can they hear us right now? Yeah. Yes. Let's just jack each other off in the meantime to boost ratings. <laughs> Make sure we... Just, oh, you got a bunch of stuff. Yeah, I, I got like Definitely four. speak up, everybody, because yeah. it's going to okay. be... It's going to... We'll go a little far away. How's our volume? Sound check. Sound, Sound check. check. You guys hear us okay? How do we sound? <clears throat> ba, ba, ba. Yeah, what's the top? Ah, there's a bunch of topics, Steph. Oh shit! Woo. My bad. See, this is fixed out. There we go. Is that okay? <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> how's this sound? Hey guys. Can you guys hear us? We just want to do a sound check. Can yep. You guys hear just us? Tell us how the sound. We're is. talking and we're jerking off, and it goes into Justin's face. Yeah. And it's oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She's saying no. It's a <laughs> Is it available to go live with you? Oh. Shut the fuck up. Welcome to the Whatever Bro <laughs> Casting Couch Edition. Is <laughs> it dark again? <laughs> there we it. go. Well, all right, now we're we're in business. Okay, dude. Hey, I think we're good to go. Right, ready to go? First of all, Justin, did you? Uh, well, wait, wait a minute. Joe, walk us into where we are right now. What is going on? All right, we're in my living room right Whoa! now. It's a casting couch. Casting couch, motherfucker. This is where we interview potential ladies to make <laughs> pornographic <laughs> videos with. <laughs> and this is whatever, bro. Podcast episode forty, what six? Uh, Forty six. Yep. Yeah. Cool. No Curb Meister tonight. Um, no Jeff, the sound guy tonight. Just us three homos on a couch. Yep. We want to experiment with angles, so give us some feedback. Let us know how it looks. If it looks shitty, we'll change up the view next week. Do this one. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah. All right. So, we actually, we got some topics today. First of all, welcome to the Whatever Bro Podcast. Hey, yo. Oh, welcome. And we're missing a few key people. <laughs> and Justin, didn't you just get like a massage or something? Uh, yeah. Uh, yes. But I, I just want to say one thing first. If you're having trouble uh, seeing or hearing us, that's because we're filming this on a Talkboy audio recorder. <laughs> From Home Alone 2, so that will explain yes. any issues that you're having. Yeah, it is some old software to say the least. <laughs> yes. But I mean, it looks, it looks great, I think. I think it looks good. I like the widescreen thing. It looks not... less bootleg than it did last time we were here. Yes. I yeah, will say that. That and rough. the setup looks better, too. Man, yeah. we, just, we just really just wanged it. Oh, <laughs> well, wanged it. Last time, we had zero time to do setup and shit. It was kind of just like, hey, we're going to sit at this <laughs> mini bar. <laughs> the majority of the camera was on our balls the whole time. Like, <laughs> nobody could see us. Yeah, it wasn't that great. We have a lot to talk about, actually, because it's been like a month since we've been on. Um... Justin just got a massage, did not get a happy ending because he's a pussy. No. Yeah. Um, well, the reason you go, though, to these massage parlors, correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> not, no, he didn't go to a massage parlor. Oh, no, I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. But the reason you get massages is because your body is fragile and it's no, in constant no, distress. Because no. yeah. right. I'm such a manly man. I'm lifting weights in the gym all day so I get <laughs> tight. That was actually a good, good excuse. <laughs> no, but the crazy thing I was telling Scott off air is... Um, until I got the massage, I didn't realize how tight I was. I felt like the Tin Man. Remember when they find the Tin Man in the Wizard of Oz and he's like just corroded? And he can't... That's, that's Justin before. That was me, awesome. yeah. pre-massage, and now afterwards it's like they gave me the oil in my joints. <laughs> and I'm tap dancing, I got a range of motion, you know, I'm singing, I'm right. dancing. Yeah. That's why it would be if, if financially we had, we could do this, like getting a massage a couple just... times a week would be amazing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. On just... camera... Each other, rub, just rubbing and, <laughs> and, and loving each other. No, th no you didn't get a uh, happy ending. <laughs> no, I always no, no, would no. want one if I'm getting a massage. I'd want, <laughs> you know. No, I, was, I would never be into the happy ending stuff because you've got to figure they jacked off like... If that's what they do, right, right. they're I mean, jacking off guys all but day. they wash which, their hands. You, so. yeah, you right. assume that. Yeah. Yeah. You assume they're I just see you look at it from that point of view. I look at it from the point of view, they must be really good at it then. You know? <laughs> a lot of practice. I don't want some girl with a second hand job in her life. You know? <laughs> I want a seasoned veteran. You want an experienced hand yeah. jobber. She yeah. throws a double on there, rubs the top. You know? <laughs> so how long was the massage? It was like an hour. Oh, wow, that's, that's good. Not bad. That's good. Yeah. So and you feel nice and I'm feeling limber. Refreshed. I'm feeling like a new man. I really am. Nice. My, fr my I had a buddy that went to... Um, 
an Asian massage parlor. Yeah, I'm. St- I can't believe, by the way, I haven't gone yet. Like I, that is something. Oh, they're they're in Providence. I know. I don't know what I'm waiting for. Them. There's a certain term. I forget what they're called. And it's a weird loophole where they can legally offer these services as in really? in the state of Rhode Island, as long as it's indoors. I wonder uh, if that's anything to do with Rhode Island being corrupt as fuck. Uh, yeah, but, being like yeah. Most likely, but I, I had a friend that went to one of these Asian massage parlors, and the ad it was all these beautiful Asian women, mm, right? Of course. And then of course he gets there and like they look like shit. These women. <laughs> he was well, yes, and he was saying like uh, he was pretty sure that they were like first of all like sex slaves that had been like, shipped <laughs> over. <laughs> I mean, they were of age and everything, but yeah. they were just like, they were very sad looking. They were like women. drugged up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they wouldn't carry an IV around with them. Like the girls from yeah. Taken. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> so he gets, he ends up getting a massage uh, from one of these women, and uh, she doesn't, she barely speaks English, and he's starting to think, it's like an hour in, am I gonna get the, the hand job? Mm. And then he says, she gets in his ear and whispers, <clears throat> Rip over, <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, he oh, he flipped no. over. <laughs> and what did she do? Just massage them? Oh it? no, she gave me the old. Uh, oh, she was ripping. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, she was saying frip <laughs> over so she could access his. Uh, I was thinking he was on his stomach or uh, his no, no, he's on his, she yeah. said frip over. She said frip yeah, over, frip over, bang over, <laughs> kick your ball hole out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know why I haven't tried that yet. I know that I guess because nowadays I don't want to pay like one hundred fifty dollars for a hand job. I think he said I mean? it was only fifty bucks. Bucks total. Really? And they shower. I think you just go. That's right. That's super. You got to go to the right place. You know what? Inbox me if you know the right place to go. Uh, if you've been there before, because I want to go with my friends. Scott wants to get fripped over. <laughs> is what he's trying to say. <laughs> I was like, I'm here for the frip over special. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> and so, we got a. I want to say too. Friday we have a fight. Shout out. Yeah, Josh hero. He Josh was, Bird. We tried getting him on the show, but he's kind of busy right now, so we'll get him another week. But Matter of fact, I talked to him when I picked up the tickets. He said, you know, I didn't push it as much as I usually do. He goes, I just want to stay focused on training. He looks like, I, I he's, like that. he's mentally 100% yeah. into it. He's like, I don't care about promoting as much. I just want, just I think he win. just wants to win. And I said to him, I said, what's the likelihood of you moving ahead here if you win? He said, if he like knocks this dude out, and possibly knocks the next guy out. He has a very good shot being on the show, The Contender. Nice. Oh, nice. Yes. So he said that. So he's like, if I yeah, but The Contender's boxing is it? Is it um, the Ultimate Fighter? I think it's. Why did he said that? He said The Contender, but that's well, boxing. Well, there's a new show. Yeah. Is this something new? That yeah, yeah. Dana White has a new show. That must be what he's talking it's about. It's not. It's not the UFC. But um, what it is is it's kind of like Friday Night Fights in boxing. Yeah. Where they took all the contenders. That's what it is. It's that yep. show. And uh, they're basically fighting, and the winners get UFC contracts. Are you, okay, so that is what he's talking about. So we're rooting for is a knockout, which the last time he fought this kid, you remember, knocked him out, knocked him out oh. with a broken hand, he hurt his hand, and then he knocked him I out. I think yeah. I think knockout is probably an understatement. He hit him with a knee from yeah. behind, a very weird angle, yeah. and then he hit him with like six five, or seven, five, yeah, six yeah. or seven, yeah. it was seven just unanswered right <laughs> hands. Oh, yeah, um, it was brutal. And that was a fight where it was like, ah, you probably could have stopped that a little earlier. Yep. You know, ref? Yeah. Oh, yeah. But he tenderized this guy like a side of beef. Yeah. So he beat that guy. The then, then the fight we watched after that, he lost, but he went against the guy that was so long oh, and man. so grapply. And yeah. it was just tough to get, guy had like get a, distance. You guy know? had like a foot on him. Yeah. Had, had like a 10 inch reach on him. I yeah, mean, it, it was. It was like trying to, I mean, and him, every time he would try it's to... It's like trying to wrestle a spider. Yeah, dude. And the, the guy was a good, like, Giant. smart fighter. Yeah. It wasn't yeah, like some dumbass, dude. So, yeah. you know, it was a grappling match, and it was grueling to watch. It was tough. Mm-hmm. But I think, uh, I mean, if you want to go, it's Twin River. It's $40. You can go on CESMMA.com. Get tickets. We got tickets. We're going. We're going. We're going. You know, we are we're going. At it. So, so that's Friday, October 27th, CES MMA. Yeah, Josh LeBurge. Josh the Problem. Oh, River Zone. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> it's always, I always love it when he wins. It Like, just the morale of the night is so much more. Oh, yeah. Room, of course, know? yeah. Because then the minute he loses, we're just like, all right, well, all we have at this point is KFC or Taco <laughs> Bell stand. Yeah. That's all we have to look forward to yeah. if he loses. So if he wins... 
Huge deal. Big we time. We celebrate afterwards. We drink. Not to mention there's, what, 200 plus people there. Last time there was over 250. A Fall River. Yeah. Just Fall River fans with the shirts. So it was quite a Fall River dominant crowd. Yes. And they put him at the ends because he brings so many people. And he brings probably the most of anyone. Oh, definitely. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, hands down. So it'll be fun. It'll be good. And we'll, I, should, I should point out, his uh, one of his teammates... Um, just was on that show contender, won the fight, and now he's, he's gonna oh, really? and now he's got a UFC fight lined up. Fucking awesome. Wow. So he's got a connection there. Yeah, and it's entirely fine. I mean, it's, it's Joe Lozon's gym. Joe yep. Lozon is, uh, is, is the trainer. He's a, no, he's a UFC fighter. Big time, yeah. Um, one of the most popular fighters. Yes. So that's the, that's the, and he, there. well, he'll be at the fight, correct? In his corner? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, always. So yeah. Cool. I mean, he lives yeah. right in, uh, his yeah. gym is right in West Bridgewater. So yeah, it's so that. cool that like the dude from UFC, a very awesome fighter in the UFC, been fighting for years, is going to be there, you know, ringside, corner, Josh's yeah. corner. It's you, just got, so cool. you got a pro yeah. in your corner. That's crazy. Yeah, and and uh, Joe Lozon, who is uh, Josh's coach, I believe that he's won the most Fight of the Night awards uh, I think above, you're right on above that. any UFC fighter. So awesome. most yeah. exciting fights. Awesome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so what do we have? We're not going to be able to see comments because of the way this format is. We don't have Jeff here to read the comments. So yeah, Where the fuck is Jeff? We can see him, but they're a little more distant today. Jeff's way too busy for us. Well, Jeff's one, yeah. one thing we sh should look into is the uh, so-and-so is available to go live with you. I wonder what the hell that is. I know does. what that is. Does what that, that add them to the Yes, it feed? does. Wow. So if I were to add someone right now, they'd come on the corner, on the right-hand corner. We can uh, communicate with them. This is really good if we get that's interesting. Interesting. someone like famous or yeah. very popular who doesn't want to actually meet up. Or if we want to take callers, we could go. Yeah, yeah that's we true. Could've, we could have thrown the Burgess ass on here if he didn't want to. That's true. I didn't even, th I didn't even we think We could have like a 10-minute But interview. they'd have to be an experimental phase. We could try it now with the first person the that first is available to go live. Let's up. try it. Let's try oh it. Oh my god, do we dare <laughs> see on. what? Dude, I'm just doing it. The creature's lurking in whatever, bro. All right, we're asking Matt again. Yeah, yeah if he can go live in. with us, I bet you people are going to be scared. Yeah, Matt, Matt, <laughs> Matt put, your, put your makeup on, dude. Come on, yeah, Matt. If you want to be a guest on the show. Matt's like just jacking off like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I just wanted to jerk off to these three beautiful guys, and now they're running. <laughs> All right, so you got like 10 seconds. If you don't. If not, we go in. Yeah, put your pants else. on, Matt. He declined. Oh, you pussy. Oh, yeah, All right. Who you want? Do you want to do anyone Who's... random or someone we know? No, random. Victoria Go. Costa. Ask. Victoria Costa, come live with us, baby. You got 10 seconds. This is the equivalent of callers. It really yeah. is. Yeah. Like, hey, call this us. This is super cool. I don't know Absolutely. how it's going to work, but let's see if not it works. Not a single person. So did it, say, did it say inviting? Uh, yeah, uh, it did. Uh, and nothing happened, I don't think. Anyways, did you guys hear about my our Patriots tickets? Uh, oh, yeah. Sure. Oh, no, no. no. Tell us. Tell us uh, what happened. So a friend of mine, I won't mention his name, <laughs> he went on Craigslist to buy Patriots tickets. What's going on here? Hold Go ahead, on. keep going. Nope. Uh -huh. he, uh, he went on Craigslist to buy Patriots tickets. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he gets them. He meets this guy. How, at, how much for these tickets? 150 each. Yeah, 150 each. 150 each. Holy <laughs> shit. Okay. Yeah. And he'd probably be pissed if I was talking about and it. By the way, uh, for the seats, I believe 150 is cheap. Yes, for, for these yeah. seats, it was cheap. If they were real. So that was the first round. <laughs> yeah. But still, like some, sometimes people try to get rid of them. Yeah. yeah. So he meets this guy. He gets the tickets. The tickets look legit. I guess he mentioned that the guy seemed a little... He met up with him at a mall, right? Yes. Was he, he, wearing, was he wearing Timberlands? <laughs> I want to answer that question. <laughs> I don't know what this guy looked like. We get the tickets. He shows them to me. The tickets look legit. We, we drink all day. But you did say something to me. What? You said something about the ticket earlier. You were like, there's one thing, the bottom. Didn't you say the bottom? No, no, no. I didn't. You didn't tell me, like, the bottom looks a little... No. All right. Because I thought I was saying these tickets are printed on graham crackers. <laughs> <laughs> it was a little hard as this. They yeah. were written in crayons. Yeah. No. no, to me, they look legitimate. Okay. I think at that point, I, whatever I said to you, I think I was overanalyzing. Yeah, I think you said something about the serial number. It looked a little different. All right, whatever. Anyways, right. so we get them. Uh, we just trust that these tickets are valid. We drink the whole day so you're there. at Foxborough, yeah. just eat and drink it. We still had a, a great time. Excited then, about excited, excited, so excited exactly. for the great seat. So it's game time. Yeah. Game time. Falcons, <laughs> Patriots, the, the yeah. Super Bowl remake. We're walking up with the crowd, like all these crowds. We have our Patriots gear on, oh. and we get to the scanner, and he goes. Oh. These tickets are already taken. Oh, oh no! Oh, so there were copies of tickets. There were copies. 
So they oh, sent us to this, this line that was pretty fucking long of other people who got fucked. Yeah. Which is a lot. What do they do? Uh, just throw you off the balcony? Like, hey, there we go. They, they just, like, go on this line. You go on this line. Um, and then we're waiting in line, and all of a sudden this cop out of the blue is like, if you guys paid cash for these tickets on Craigslist or something, we can't help you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, so that's if you bought it from, like, a site with, with actual, like, paper. Yeah, if you met someone, they gave you tickets, you gave them cash. There's nothing right. that can be done. You can't report it as an online fraud or but whatever. If you, but if you purchased online, you had, like, payment proof of payment. Yes, exactly. Proof of purchase. In this uh-huh. case, it was, it was a cash transaction. <laughs> so they were like, oh, sorry. Shit. Nelson Cabral. This. Yeah, bring him on. Oh, no. I thought that was a different Nelson Cabral. Oh, no. He won't come on. What's up, Nelson? <laughs> it's all right. I want to get somebody to uh, to join us. I'm going to ask him. Get someone we know. We don't want sh- yeah. to surprise a stranger. That's what it is. I'd let it, let it run, maybe, yeah. and see what happens. When you see somebody's name, you know. Yeah. Let us know. So that sucks. So you're, did you pay? Did you have to pay? Uh, well, I had paid because I'm not going to leave this kid with $300 tap. Yeah, yeah. So... <laughs> So I, I think he had been screwed in the past. So. Uh, oh, no. He fell for this twice, this guy? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Might want to stop buying tickets off at the Dartmouth Mall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is that, is that what the cop said? If you bought these tickets at a food court, the Dartmouth Mall, we can't help with you. the guy wearing Timberlands, we can't you help neck you. tattoo, you're, you're out of luck. Yeah. We've been looking for this guy for years. <laughs> He's the food court fucking. That sucks, thing. man. That's tough. Yeah. yeah. So I, you know, we lost a little money, but it's what, what can you do? I mean, I looked at the tickets; they look legitimate to me. Yeah. So, I mean, we can't. Besides that, we can't just like say. You learn from it. We're not it's smart just... enough to look at these and be like, "Oh, these are fakes." Yeah. yeah. I don't think most people are that smart. I'm like, unless you have some kind of expert knowledge. Yeah. How do you have any idea? Yeah. And was the game sold out, so you couldn't buy actual tickets? Oh, super um, awesome. yes. Oh, that sucks, man. Oh, or, or I actually think there were people who had gone a little earlier. Their tickets were fakes. Yeah. And then they ended up buying, since they were there, they're like, uh, fuck it, we'll buy the fuck cheapest it. tickets we can get. But yeah. at that point, it was almost sold out. Because uh, it was uh, a Super Bowl rematch. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And they kicked their ass, dude. Yeah, it wasn't even, to be honest, the game wasn't even that entertaining, so no. we didn't miss too much. If the game was amazing, I would have felt worse about it. Yeah. So you guys just catch it in the bars around Fox Bar? Yeah, we went to the CBS sports scene. Um, we we chit-chatted with a few people and hung out. We told them our story. <laughs> but it was still fucking depressing. We're kind of oh, like, yeah, that's, that's sad. That is tough. Um, there was a, a thing that you brought up that I thought was interesting to talk about. It was, oh, yeah. what is it, uh, things that men should be doing? All right, so Help me out you know how we struggle with topics on the show? Yes. I, I was like, what the fuck are we going to talk about today? Because last time we didn't have a whole lot of topics. So yeah. I, Googled, um, <laughs> I Googled topics that 30-year-olds talk about or things that 30-year-olds talk about. That's all I Googled. Yeah. And this list comes up of Things 30-year-olds should do when they turn 30. Oh, no. God. I'm already terrified. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. And it's basically saying, when you turn 30, this is when you should do this or do that. Right. And I got a list here. And this is oh, for... We can go through right. each one. Yeah. I, re- I read them and I was like, I don't do any of these fucking things. All right. So life. this is things that we as 30-year-olds should be doing by now. Should be doing... But are we? We'll answer that. Let's see. And we're we're okay. only 30 even, all of us. Yeah. Just to clarify. Yes, 33. Okay. Uh, the first one, if you turn 30, it's time to fall in love. What the fuck? <laughs> 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 I kind of like that you guys don't know the real <laughs> these yet. <laughs> this is some bullshit. Now, fuck that. Just to, says who? Just to, a dissect, woman wrote yeah, yeah, just just to dissect that a little. Yeah. Uh, Fall in love. Are, are you pissed that you're not in love with someone right I, now? I'm not pissed about it at all. I'm not saying it's a bad thing to be in love. That's what I'm saying. I say I'm, I'm very grateful that I'm not. Because with falling in love comes jealousy, anger, wonder. A lot of emotions. Hurt, pain, mm. pain, more pain. <laughs> going to the zoo. Pain, pain. A birthday party for a four-year-old. Pain. So it's not the same vagina over and over again. I mean, there's just too much shit that sucks with one So I would say I'm not in love right now, and I, and I couldn't be more happy about it, personally. And you, you, you want to fall in love, right? That's what you told me before we got here. <laughs> you used my own shit against me. God damn. Uh, no, I think this, already I think this list is absurd. And it's, <laughs> and it sounds, number one. Yeah, and it sounds like that uh, a woman wrote this. Yep. He was trying to get her... Uh, 
She's sick of, yeah, sick of guys in their 30s having fun. Yes, exactly. <laughs> you need to, and she has a boyfriend that she's nagging to marry her. Yeah. And she wrote like, you know what? I'm going to write a fucking blog on a website. <laughs> yeah. I'll show them. I'll show these guys. <laughs> Okay, yeah, yeah. So no, let's, let's, let's oh, take note. Note. Let's take note. We didn't just turn 30. We no. are 33. We're 33. Wait, no. So we should already so have been in love. Okay. I just turned 30. Come on. <laughs> what are you talking about? Me, Joe, uh, who are you in love with, Joe? Uh, Paul, I, I got to say, I really love the way my life is. Joe's got a girlfriend. I have a girlfriend. Oh, my God. Yeah. No libido? No libido? Number two. All right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, Mitch Hedberg had a great joke. He, he said, I don't have a girlfriend. He goes, I do have a girl that would be really upset if she heard me say that. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. I'm sorry. Number two. Numero dos, yeah. When you turn 30, you should host a dinner party. Oh, what? Now, now, this, hold on. I now, believe... in Justin's defense here, Justin hosts soup parties. That's true. Are those dinner parties uh, or are those, are those parties that you disguise as calling soup parties? Mm -hmm. Uh... To almost have a Good theme that sound fun. Good yeah. Question. Well, because you don't hear too many soup parties hosted by men. No. Or soup, soup parties in general. Yeah. I don't know what you're trying to say. Yeah, right. He's a fact. I'll you for clarifying. <laughs> but yeah, a dinner party, I think, like, well, tell us about your 401k, uh, Father yeah, yeah, Ted. Yeah. Well, so, uh, okay, true. However, I this, I would say that there's no listen, cocaine, there's no threesome, <laughs> there's no orgies. <laughs> Like at a, a good old fashioned yeah. soup party. These soup parties do. There's no D, there's no DJ set up in the living room. I would say, yeah, that's. I mean, but that, but it does start off with their soup around good soup that you provide. I would say that's yeah. pretty. The it's kind of close. The to person it. who wrote this had a legitimate dinner party with yeah. business friends or, or right. people are too that are too civilized to hang out with. Them. Cunts, right? <laughs> Got it. Got Precisely. You. Have you tried the yams, Ted? <laughs> well, they're simply exquisite. <laughs> 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 Soup and kitchen parties are my kind of life. I think that she's our Shout name. out, Cal. Actually, at go. one point, Cal had the ask on to ask oh. to join, and but we missed it. It was way longer. Oh, time is that ago. Kelly Almeida? Yeah, I'll get her on. Kelly, uh, uh, ask, cool. to, ask to join on. again. I'll, I'll uh, hook it up. We'll get you on. Um, yeah, so this is clearly written by a that, crazy woman. Yeah, so that was the dinner party. Okay, um, uh, that was dumb. Is there a third? There is. It, it says um, you should buy. You should wear nice jewelry. Buy a nice piece of jewelry. For like a watch? Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, whoever wrote this was, was like had a lot of money and was very ritzy and a yeah. snob. Yeah. That's the way it seems. Dinner parties, jewelry. Jewelry. We don't skip do that jewelry. Shit. Yeah, that's jewelry. We're not. Yeah, yeah we can't. Uh, do you need to. Since you turn thirty, you need to start using more like uh, moisturizers, face cream, <laughs> hand cream. Okay. All right. I do. I, I do use that. lotion. You know, this guy's like, that I agree, I, that's where I draw the line. Yeah. <laughs> so when I, that I agree with. When I shave, my neck is very, because no, no, I use a razor, it gets very, uh, what's it called, um, sensitive. Yeah. So I will take a shower and then put lotion all over. I'm also bald, so when I shave, I, after that, put lotion here. You got a lot of stubble up there. I wouldn't call you bald. No, you're not bald. Just a little sparse. It's this thing right here with this thing. That's the fried yeah. egg. They call it the fried egg. Hey, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> they do call it. Get the head back out here. We don't, we're not trying to make they a call that, They call that the Yamaha. It's still good. No, you see the hairline in the front is still nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's just back here that's going a little. Now, have you ever considered Propecia or any? Or I any did. I, I went tried it, right? No, I tried uh, Rogaine. Gotcha. Just did nothing. It's a gimmick. Nothing. I believe that it's absolute nonsense. Um, huh. I believe it's a head game. You think that you're growing your hair back, you're really not. Uh -huh. uh, I think I went to a consultant, a free consult for the thing and they were like you don't need that you need to do propecia but the thing with propecia that like your nipples can get puffy because it's like a and it kills your bone i've heard i've heard that too so yep. i said That's the last thing we need i started to embrace my baldness and not one woman has ever complained and said like oh i don't like the 
So oh, no, there's no, yeah. there's no yeah. problem with it. And you get a good head. It was form. more, yeah. It was more of a problem. He's you get a nice egg-shaped head. <laughs> if you had a lumpy, fucked-up head, uh, yeah, or, yeah, or, yeah. or when it goes like this and then down. Oh no! Uh, yeah. 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 yeah, I feel bad. A ledge head, they call yeah. it. A clip head. Hey, listen, there's a lot of ledge heads. Oh man! One out of every fourteen men is a ledge head, dude. They're out there. Like Bart Simpson had ledge heads. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, so yeah, I moisturize on occasion. Yes, I do take care of my skin. Refill? Uh, yes, please. Do and you do you moisturize there, Ch Charlie? Yeah, yeah, you know what? Cause you know I don't. No moisturizer. I'll tell you how I to. I started to. You know why? Mad cool, bro. <laughs> <laughs> your skin's mad nice, Charlie. Oh, it's fully <laughs> moisturized. Mad smooth skin, bro. Where's your wine, Captain? Uh, you know I don't. It's a giant pot. There you go. Do you uh, moisturize? You I was sitting like you're a guest. I, I, you know, I'm squeezed. So. <laughs> I'm squeezed in here. Well, now I can finally uh, release man something. spread. Yeah. Now that Joe's off. Me. <laughs> but no, I, 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 I do moisturize. And, yeah. And I th it's because you know what? They're getting these fucking these goddamn eye bags. Yeah, under, they're gonna come though. Man. Under the old, yeah, that, that happens. Under gonna, the old, we all get them. Yeah, they're gonna come though, man. They, like you, it, you can't beat the, the world. It's in funny. Age and time. It's funny you should say that. Because you recently uh -oh. beat him. I heard I heard this on the Rogan podcast. He's, he was raving about this. What he says is there's, usually true. There's so. a German scientist, right? Um, and he is. And I believe it's in phase three human trials. He's invented this like super serum, and they're thinking it's going to be like a billion. <laughs> I swear to God, I know, I know you're not making it up. With don't on. use words like super serum because <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't help your case. Well, you said Captain America. It's <laughs> They inject you and you're a superhero. Right, so right. anyway, uh, the re the reason why we get eye bags and our faces start to droop yep. is because your body produces collagen, and then over time it stops, starts to slow down in its collagen production, and then everything starts to fucking sag. That's right. why old people look like old catcher's mitts. Yeah. <laughs> um, so this German scientist has allegedly invented this super serum, not on the market yet. But it's due out like in a year or two, and supposedly it's a few injections, and it jump starts your body's natural collagen production. Now, would this mean not just bags, but like other, yeah, yeah, like any part of the body, like the neck that's yeah, like stuff. A, well, you got one of those the bottle, chicken necks, yeah, the chicken, turkey neck. Oh, uh, see, that that's what I'm most scared of, like the Donald Trump having a gullet. It's gonna happen. Oh, uh, the Donald Trump. No, not. <laughs> I mean, dude, when, super you're, when serum, you're 60, bro. you can't. You know, super, not, dude. Denial! Dude, if the super serum's not going to come out in two years. You always talk like that, dude. You yeah. go like this, no, just be shut, bro. Yeah, me and Joe would hang out. <laughs> and who's not going to click on this, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> hey, when, when I go back, it's episode 741. Come on, Joe. Hey, why don't you come join? Come on, YouTube. I'm being super stubby's here. Then I'm controlling. Dude, dude. <laughs> come on, there, Joe. <laughs> Like 60 years old. It's true, man. There is, there's no uh, the way the rapid increase and the way that biotechnology, man. Yeah, yeah, biotechnology. So I'm not worried about it. Uh, but let me know once you get that super serum. I will. We'll look it all. When I when I'm you inject like, me, I'll inject you. <laughs> you know what I mean? And when you see me, I look like Captain America. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna like rip this red. Can you yeah. get the serum? Can <laughs> the serum a little bit? All right. What's number three or four? I can uh, manage that once. Yeah, yeah. Once quick story. Uh, yeah, yeah, speaking of super serum, right? This is about my brother. Uh, I was going to the gym with him, this is years ago, right? And he was fucking jacked. Like, he was getting huge. Your brother. He just started going to the gym, he's getting, like, swole. And I'm like, dude, what are you doing? He's like, oh, man, I'm using these new techniques. And then he's trying to instruct me, like, oh, don't hold the barbell like that. You want to hold it, like, with more of a curl and blah, blah, blah. And were, you, were you listening to him? I'm like, yeah, because he's putting on all this muscle, man. Yeah, right? It's obvious hey, what's going on. A week later, you know, he was buying steroids. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> and I'm like, why the fuck wouldn't he tell me that he's doing... Instead, he's giving me this bullshit advice. You know, he's like, oh, yeah, man, I've been... Just holding the bar a little different, and it's been making huge gains. Huge all the progress. Difference. Yeah, <laughs> that's actually funny. This is a domino effect there, where lying. This just comes. You know, me and lying. Mm. When a man lies about doing steroids to another man who's trying to work out, you, you give him all this false hope. Yeah, bullshit advice too. Yeah, bullshit advice. Just so, tell him you're juicing. Exactly, because what happens is the guy tries to do what you're doing. He's looking at you, going, "This guy's so ripped. I'm I'm working so hard." Because you don't have to work as hard when you're on steroids. Oh, you definitely not. That's right. Yeah, and he's working hard, and then he's like. Oh, I don't get it. And then he starts getting upset, and all because you didn't just be like, dude, just juice. Just juice it up. 
You know what I mean? If you want to do steroids, it's not that big of a deal. Do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? What the fuck? If that's what you want to do, do it. Don't uh, be ashamed. Everybody's, uh, everybody in, the, in general fitness, Fall River, 80% mm-hmm. of the people are juiced. But it's like, that's what they do. Juice to the gills. Right, it, too much, yeah. Well, you can tell the guys that are juiced because they are fucking yeah, it's, human, man. They don't look like, they look like <laughs> Oh, no, they, yeah. look, they look like superheroes. Like, yeah, now, like, do you get juice because that's how you want to look or that's how you want women to see you? A both, I would say. I, I personally look at it as an unhealthy obsession, just like anything else. Yeah, definitely. You start to work out, you start to see you know stuff, and then you just go to the point where you look in a mirror and you still see yourself jacked, but other people looking at you like, dude, you look fucking weird. Yeah. yeah. And I think it's... Yeah, you have a different perception of yourself. Absolutely. And I think it's like that in life with anything. If you go too crazy with something, you got to have balance. Bro. Now, let's say you don't take roids, but you do fine with the ladies. So then does it become a, I, I personally want to look big. I don't, because in my head, I always think that if a guy wants to look jacked or caught or whatever, it's because that's how he wants others to see him. Yeah. But if then if you don't need help picking up girls, yeah. what, are you, what are you doing it for? Uh, yourself? Yeah, see, like, I... I just don't always believe it's you do it for just yourself. Oh, of course not. Oh, I mean, you do, like, to, you're working out, like, to get laid? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, I think everyone wants to look sexually attractive. That's, that's yeah, I think that's the main goal. For me, I just I want to look as good as I can. And you don't want to have tits. That's like a huge. You don't want to look. I, yeah. I don't. I don't ever want to look like. <laughs> you don't <laughs> want to have tits. It's like kind of came out of just whatever you do. You yeah. don't want just floppy tits. I, 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 I do. It, I would say I do it number one for women. Yeah. But do you feel like if you didn't, your success rate would be less? Probably not. No, and I'll tell you why. I don't think a lot of girls really look at that. Girls care about this, this real estate right here. There's a face. <laughs> no, wait, hold on. Keep that going. Keep yeah. that going. Keep that going. That's all they right care about. Here. What the what? Right what the fuck? How did this? Hey, hashtag me too. By the way, that's... I was just assaulted. Hashtag me too. It can too. happen to guys too. It can wait, guys wait, too. Wait, that's not true. I think the woman's real estate is is their brain, is a man's brain. Because look how many like ugly ass fat dudes are with hot girls, man. They just want a man who's gonna treat them with. Good. You don't have to be rich. Those fat guys have a lot of money. Yeah, they do. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't know, man. I just, I like to look good, and I do like to look good for women. I like to be able to take my shirt off, and a girl go, wow, you look like kind of jacked. Or, uh, you know what I mean? No girl's going to be like, wow, you're ripped. You look like, God. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> I, I know you do. It turns me on. I, mean, I know you do, because your shirt's never on. No, it never is. <laughs> well, I don't like wearing shirts. It's different. I don't like wearing clothes. It's not just, I don't think I look beautiful. I just don't like wearing shirts. <laughs> <laughs> no, listen, I don't. It's a fabric issue. I, I just went down wrong. I just went down wrong. I, I will say this. My theory with women, based on experiments and observations, is... Which is not many. She yeah. gets Todd Langlois in on the... Fuck that. <laughs> Todd! <laughs> Todd, so he gets shot down. So like, motherfucker at a wedding. He's like, yeah. Oh, did you see him, Todd? You saw yeah. him at the wedding? Dude, that's but it's good, right? <laughs> yeah. Todd, Todd to get roasted. Hey, I'm going to go on. He's like, Scott. Who wants to go live with us? I'm going to be 40. I'm going to be 40, Scott. Is he really? I was like, yeah, can I get a cigarette? Yeah, he's going to be 40 years old. His daughter's 16 years old. That's crazy. We used to hang at, at, at Jesse's house, and she was like four. I don't know why I talk about You know how old my kid is? How old your kid is? Yeah. I don't know. Good answer. Know. Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> you were ready for that one? My, uh, I don't my, have one. My child uh, was put in a medical waste basket, <laughs> and uh, actually, how many times <laughs> they have become some type of skincare product? So <laughs> Scott might actually be using my son to moisturize his neck. This, how fucked up is that? Is Justin's daughter? <laughs> Are these, this smells like Justin's embryo. <laughs> you put it. I, I'll tell you this. You put a little bit of my embryo on your eye bags. They just. You know what? Let's go to number four. Super serum. <laughs> Super serum. Uh, there was, uh, I'll do a few. There was, uh, in your 30s, you should be saving money because your 2000 Jetta will eventually break down. That's a good point. It says that? Yeah, I actually said that. I don't save money because I can't. Keep exercising. I say exercising is a thing we all do. We all, all, all three of us. Yeah. All three of us. Uh, uh, start a wine cellar. What the again, fuck? Again, this, I don't was like written, this, this was written by some fucking chick who lives in the Hamptons. Yeah. And, and has yeah. money. That list was written by Alfred, uh, Bruce Wayne's butler. <laughs> <laughs> Dinner parties, wine cellar. It actually says, listen to this. Uh, instead of paper napkins, start to use cloth napkins. Oh, fuck you. Yeah, I'm done with that, lady. Get the fuck out of here. I'm done yeah, with that, lady. Find out a good one. Bake a cake from scratch. Uh, Bake a cake from scratch. Bake a cake from scratch. And try a new hairstyle. Uh, Throw that thing in the, in yeah. the fireplace yeah. that we don't have. Yeah. Hit it, hit it. Yeah. Fuck out. Oh. Oh, actually, there is a fireplace over there. There is a fireplace. It's fake. 
We got we got to do the show in front of that one day. Absolutely, by the fireside. It's a Christmas edition. We'll have, yeah, yeah. Blanks, did, little socks. We did want to bring up briefly. Uh, we're not going to go too into it because everyone's talking about it and it's, it's all the craze right now. But there was something called Yoga Wars. Yoga Wars. You're, you're familiar with this, correct? I am because all the women I work with won't shut up about the Yoga Wars. That's yeah. all I'm hearing about all day, every day. And then Turtle Boy, did an which is, uh, how, how would you describe Turtle Boy? They're like a local. I, of, I would say he's like the poor man's bar stool. Yeah, for like New England. Uh, yeah, he's like a New England I, bar I would stool. say he's comparable to bar stool. Yeah. Like, I think with each year, his, he's starting to get more popular. Right. So anyways, people were messaging him. About this crazy yo- yoga. And it's happening in our, our very own backyard of Dartmouth, yeah. Massachusetts. It is, yeah. Like Route Six. And if if I if I'm getting this correctly, yeah. Scott, I know you know all the details. You're very excited about this. You can't wait to get into it. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's actually fine. I just don't know much about it. So you guys fire away. I don't know. I don't know. All right, right. That, does it? All right, I'm not even gonna, I'm not going to bring up past guests, but there there was allegedly this woman in Dartmouth who was teaching, and I'm not going to say. Her, I'm not going to say her name because I guess she sues everyone. This woman I'm has to get sued. She has a she has a rich boyfriend. Can I say her name? Is that how we get sued? Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, uh, I, I can't. We won't throw names. Yeah, out. yeah. Uh, she has she has a seventy year old boyfriend, and he looks Ooh. like the dude from um, Princess Bride that says inconceivable. <laughs> he looks exactly <laughs> like I don't that. Know that. I swear to God. I swear to God. I must have missed that one. But he's old looking. He's seventy uh, something years old. He he owns a lot of the property. I think in. Bedford, Dartmouth area. Yeah, this dude's so, a multi-millionaire. Yeah, she's like early thirties. Yep. So he was like, he was like, okay, you're you're one of my ladies. He probably has other fucking ladies. She's a gold. In, in summary, she's a gold digger. Yes. Yeah, so he's like, oh, you know what? I'm gonna buy you a, a yoga, yoga studio, studio or, yeah. or a, she also has a spin studio. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna do that. Okay. So she's like the boss and the main instructor mm-hmm. at these two places, uh, specifically the yoga. Yeah. Now she posts all these extreme pictures online wearing I've, fucking I've, I've Mr. T chains and like Gucci glasses and it's like it's kind of just like a crazy freak show. Yeah, it's like it's like a mixture of yoga meets like uh, the Kardashians. Yes. Like, which is kind of a, a, a bastardization of yoga cuz yoga is supposed to be about, you know, Peaceful, finding your center, exactly. peace, connecting spirituality. She's making it about like, you know, cars and money yep. and just having money. Yeah. yeah which is kind of gross. She had one video shooting dollar bills out of a, a gun. Out of her pussy. <laughs> Joe said that. If you want I mean, to sue him, his name is Joe Amaral. <laughs> or Massachusetts. That would have been more interesting. That would have had more clicks. But anyways, the yoga war is that her and these other uh, and yoga studios are butting heads. And she sues. And she's suing she everyone. She sues everyone. Yeah. And she can do it. She she's, got the mo- she's got the money behind her. Because she's, she's a gold digger. No, she doesn't win. It's kind of – a lot of times she threatens to sue. Or she'll sue and say, oh – this instructor that used to work for me is now instructing somewhere else. Right. I want to sue them because they're under contract. So this bitch needs to get slapped in the face, basically. And she kind of did once Turtle Boy did a piece on her. He did two pieces on her. Right. Completely dissecting her life, making fun of her rich boyfriend, <laughs> making fun of her. I think it, like, it finally got to a point where it was like, she, like she finally learned her lesson. Does she yeah. still own a studio? I mean, does she, still- she still owns it, but it's gotten to a point where... I think she's doing classes now for like five bucks, her which, is, which is unheard of. Her clients, on her her own clients on, on her uh, Facebook page for the business are just roasting her. I'm never going to take a class here again. Yeah, it's yeah. so oh, messed and up. And you know where she lost everyone? And this is one of my other topics too, is she said that this all comes down to booty yoga. B-U-T-I. B-U-T-I, yeah. which we're somewhat familiar with because we've had a booty yoga instructor on more than once. But she was accusing other studios of culturally appropriating booty yoga because I guess it has Afri- elements of African yes. dance in it. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, just, I don't get why it's no, not. Like, well, right. It's kind of just like a great this local is, contro- I prefer local controversies as opposed to... This is why it's country. interesting. This is going to tie into another topic. Right. And it's going to tie into Halloween ultimately. Because okay. she's saying... Yeah, these girls are... That kids. wine is shaking a little too much. Uh, <laughs> Joe come on, I got, I got like three inches before hey, it even comes out. We're on Joe's couch, couch so all right, all right. Go on, go on. Well, this thing's covered in semen stains. <laughs> <as it is. laughs> I wouldn't That's be good. surprised. <laughs> anyway, she, the, the reason she lost the majority of the clientele, and I find this interesting, is she pulled out this card, which everyone's doing today. Cultural appropriation. These girls can't teach uh, booty because of cultural appropriation. The, uh... This has African dance moves in it, and I'm Cape Verdean. The best part was 
She apparently is Iranian. She's not even Cape Verdean. Yeah. I, but she can she really go to court with that? I mean, you can sue. You can go to court for anything. Yeah, it's a frivolous, anything. frivolous uh, yeah. lawsuit. Uh, That's why it sucks because it's a, a lot of people will be scared of that. If people don't have money, they're just like, oh shit, this this bitch with the rich yeah. boyfriend is gonna sue us again. So yeah. like, say she's a bully essentially. Let's say yeah. I said her name. I don't know her name is, but say I said her name. She, she would probably sue you. Yeah. Right. But, but what if I just don't show up to court? That's they, what I've always wondered. Are they will gonna they arrest you? I or? think they're just gonna. Well, no. I, I think if you don't show up to court, that's you have to. You get like a penalty or something. If you're summoned to court, you have to go to court, or there is yeah. a punishment. You well, not showing up to court is not you get in trouble. But like, but like, how about? Now there's a bounty on you, my friend. Hot. So then I could, if I wanted to, just, if I had money, after that, just keep trying to sue her for stuff every weekend. If I yeah. Wanted to. yeah. Yeah. Why not? Money, I guess. Costs money. To keep going to court, yeah. paying court fees, costs money. I wish, I challenged this girl to try and sue me for anything. <laughs> anything. You're ugly. I, I like people putting her name out there. <laughs> I'm gonna put What's her name? Scott, go ahead. Her name is Jen. Oh, I might have taken this girl's class one. <laughs> hey, Jen, you can sue me Wait. for anything you want. Small claims, whatever, man. What studio does you go to? Hope. Oh! <laughs> hey, is she? No, no. No, there it is. It's not because this girl was white with very, very, very big boobs. Oh, forget it. Yeah. Different, I did it. Different Jen. Yeah. Well, um, the, the point is she... Hey, Jen, suck my dick, and uh, you can sue me whatever you want. She's not watching. Nobody is. Well, the, well, the, I love that you went to the studio, though. I did, yeah. <laughs> Hope, a couple years ago. Scott, you traitor, man. No, that was before I knew. Actually, that's before uh, Tara was here. Uh, Who said yes, anything yes. about Tara? Me. Who said anything? Ta Tara was a young instructor. Yeah. Yeah. Well, before before she was doing booty though, I she wasn't around. I did it with uh, <clears throat> one of our friends. I forgot her name. Yeah. But it wasn't that chick. Jen, gotcha. Who sucks? But the, but the point is this: she brought race into it. And then that's where she lost. Are you fucking stupid, Jen? You brought race into it, and you are, have a studio in Dartmouth, the whitest place yeah. on the planet. <laughs> you are bringing race into it. Yeah. And um, so all, you know, all these white ass God, soccer man. moms are like, you know, peace out. How dare you bring race into you it? You guys right, got right, it. Right. I don't think you guys have seen all of these videos and pictures. It's like extreme. I, I did see a few. It just looks like a, a really bougie, weird. Yeah, she's, yeah. It's bougie is the perfect word. It looks like she's like a fourteen-year-old girl on Instagram or something, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So like, bad. Hollywood yeah, I except think, uh, I think she's our age. I, I don't know if she's older. I think Ratchet is the problem. Ratchet. Yeah. Yeah. She's Ratchet. Oh, God, just fucking yeah. gross. Anyway, And I'm not afraid to say that. Or my name isn't Scotty Madeira. <laughs> Come after me. I have, I have no care in the world about that. Oh, Tyler Johnson, 63. Okay, go ahead. Watching the uh, yeah, basketball I was gonna game on here. I know. I should have shut that off, huh? I know. <laughs> uh, yeah, so what else did we want? Oh. Halloween, do you guys do the whole haunted house thing? I never understood. Haunted house, no. Never understood no. The, the thrill there. I get that it, it's scary and things pop out at you, but I don't know that I want to pay. Like a horror movie is one thing, but going on like a haunted hayride where people are like no. trying to scare you, it's just like, and then if you say you don't want to go, you're automatically a big pussy. Yeah. yeah. That's, it's like, I just don't have any interest in that. That's a good point you made, though. Like, you can like a scary movie, but not necessarily like getting grabbed and startled in real life. Yeah, yeah. If you're watching a movie, it's kind of like, all right, I know that the movie's not going to strangle me or grab my leg or something like that. Yeah, you go to a haunted house, people kind of... Yeah, I have, I have a big problem with being approached and touched. So I just feel like, you know... Yeah. And I'm not, I'm not, I don't know, it doesn't... We should, do, we should do a live feed at the Factory of Terror. Yeah, I, I just don't want to go. <laughs> it's when you just walk, you just walk through a... Yeah, you walk through a... I will say the, 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 uh, the neighborhood that the Factory of Terror is in is scarier than the Factory of Terror itself. <laughs> yeah. Just to get to the Factory of Terror is oh, yeah. itself uh, yeah. horrifying. You yeah. actually have to like... Yeah. Yep. Hey. Gunshots. <laughs> you know, the needle on the ground? Yeah. yeah. That is so rich. You get AIDS needles. Yeah. You're definitely getting hep C by the end of the night. Now you go to, if you by go the to way, the, this episode brought to you by North Star Concrete. North Star. Okay. Fellow the pass, man. Look up North Star Concrete. He will slap concrete. the dickens out of you with a fucking <laughs> wet concrete mop. Yeah, hey, I, I thought of a nice quote for, for North Star Concrete. Hey, uh, is it me or is this job getting harder and harder? <laughs> hey, it's hey, a hey, oh, hey. It's a hey, don't be a stiff, <laughs> all right? Hey, oh, 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 oh. hey. At this point, Phil is actually paying us not to advertise. <laughs> He's paying us to stop mentioning North Star Concrete. Because last show... I think I drew something in crayon and then had Jeff walk slowly across the screen. It's like, guys, if I give you $38 each week, can you not fucking mention it? <laughs> I think business actually declines when you guys mention it. Looking at the, uh, yeah. Looking at the graphs here. <laughs> My business needs to slow down once you guys do a podcast. 
Uh, speaking of haunted houses, uh, I've lived in some fucked up neighborhoods in the city. And you guys ever have a like a neighbor who did their own haunted house and was like, oh, come yeah. on in, neighborhood kids. Of course. No. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. Really? They, I, remember, we grew up in the city. You grew up in a sewing house. Oh, oh we, we got ourselves a pretty boy. We got ourselves a sewing boy. There's a lot of people who do that, but it's so bad. Oh, my like, God. It's so boo like, but they walk. Because they want kids to come, and it's kind of creepy. It's now fucked up, right? Yeah. So it's an actual house in Fall River. It's a real house. It's, 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 it's more than one. Is this a three tenement, or is this a house house? If I remember correctly, it was a three tenement like house where it was just they would they would want the neighborhood kids to come on. Is I want an house here, but it's just like a few things and and like one person standing there. <laughs> yeah. It's just really weird. One child molester. Yeah. <laughs> these kids in. Uh, I lived in a, like a shit neighborhood in Fall River. And my neighbors, I swear to God, they, they were like crackheads. Yeah. I never took care of their property. They were just degenerates. How the crazy. fuck do I have a low battery right now? Oh, no. Sorry, 20%. Can we charge that? That's why, because this, because this thing ah, is on. Flash. You got a, you got an iPhone charger? You want me to throw on that light behind us? It's not in the shop. Do you have an iPhone charger or no? Uh, no. I don't think so. Right. We are professional. <laughs> we're at Bro Studios. Here at whatever bro. Nothing but absolute be think, yeah. professionalism. Joe's going to look for an iPhone charger, which we would need to proceed. I bet you I didn't think about it. It's the light. It's the light. Son of a bitch. Uh, son of a bitch. Uh, man. And I was at 80%. This thing burnt my battery. Yeah, I don't think I do. We still haven't had a volunteer to go live, huh? No. This is some bullshit. I can, I can run home and get my charger. What the fuck? But I don't want to. <laughs> Yeah, so crackheads throwing their own haunted yeah. houses. Yeah. I I mean, some of them are probably just like, oh, I want the neighborhood kids to be around, and I hope they can come by. That's a, that's a real haunted house, though, because you go in, you might never come out of there. If you're, yeah. if you're a little kid. In the basement. That's real scary. Chained to the pipe, <laughs> eating dog food for a year. That's it. I've heard it a hundred times. Yeah. Then what's scarier than that? You might actually become a real ghost. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and then... The basement's full of dead kids. Right, yeah. And that yeah. becomes the new... Yeah, you're, house, you're yeah. seeing some you're seeing some real corpses in those... Uh, Absolutely. Floor of haunted crack houses. Hey, Joe. Yeah. That iPhone charger I gave back to you. Did I give it back to you or no? Yeah, I don't remember where it is. Uh, not like your car or anything? No. <laughs> not the new car. Oh, yeah? They call this dead air, folks. <laughs> Kelly Almeida wants to join your broadcast. All right. Kelly, get the fuck on here, will you? Yeah, adding you as a guest. All right. Tell me she pops up in the corner. Hey, Cal, what's going on? Bring us an iPhone charger. <laughs> look, at, look at these. I can't wait for the Super <laughs> Serial Man. Look at these eye bags. Hey. No. Hey. Oh, hey. Hey. Oh, shit. Come here. Oh, hey. 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 She's got company. Who's Ooh. on your right? Who's that? Ah, this is Sid. Hey. Hey. I'm taking up half the screen. The here. Watch our views go up after yes. this. Why don't you guys go on here? I'll get the I'll get my charger for my house. Yeah, all right, yeah. Hey, all right, cool. Hey, he was holding his back right. anyway. There's two of the two of these ladies. Right. There's two of us. You know what I'm saying? So what are you guys doing? I'm just uh, <laughs> hanging out watching you guys. <laughs> right. Yeah, uh, the phone started to die, so we're pretty screwed right now. Oh. What were we talking about? So. We're talking about Houses and uh, also like crack haunted houses that they often will do in Florida. Ah, yes. Which uh, don't send your kids to those because they will never come out. <laughs> <laughs> so what are the Almeida sisters up to this evening? Oh, what, you know, what are we, we're up to um, watching you oh. have a couple of drinks. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I speaking of drinks, I think I've crossed that line where I'm like, I have drank far too much alcohol. And oh, I, really? Yeah, I'm barely on. You maybe had. What are you drinking, cold. Justin? <laughs> That's true. That's, that's like a leader yeah. of red wine. Yeah. By the way, I kind of love this function of being able to talk to other people. Yeah, it's like pretty cool. Is this, is this like really new? Because I never, I never knew about it. I think so because like we can do widescreen now and we can like ask people to join our live feed. No so it's almost like taking callers. Like I didn't guys, know what to see. expect when I, when I joined. <laughs> and, and Kelly, uh, yeah. More cleavage, please, because it's we want our views. <laughs> exactly. We have a lower, a lower yeah. cut blouse next time. This is kind of hard, though. Like I don't have. Also, a... it's just gonna, it's just gonna go to excess views. We're gonna need Christy to do a couple of cartwheels <laughs> here and there. <laughs> to, get the, to, to be honest. Oh, there she goes. <laughs> 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 
Yeah. <laughs> our views are skyrocketing. Yeah. Ladies. Our views went up 20 the minute yeah. ladies joined it. So no. we're back at 70. We were at 50 before. Yeah, this was a real sausage fest until you gals showed up. It was. You really, you really saved it. So really what, saved what, kind of, what are we going to talk about, though? Uh, what are we going to talk about? I actually uh, what, have something to talk we, about. Since we talked about all our topics already, um, I, I don't know if there's much we got left here. I actually have a topic that's really kind of funny and fucked up and weird. What? All right. That's how I like my topics. Maybe you ladies, this would be interesting because we'll get a female perspective on this topic. This is... Fresh off the presses today. Have you guys heard of stealthing? Joe, have you heard of stealthing? Stealthing? No. Stealthing, okay. Stealthing. Uh, no. In New, in New York, in California, like as of today, they're trying to make this, uh, there's a bill introduced trying to either make this illegal or not. And what stealthing is, and ladies, maybe this has happened to you. Joe, maybe you've done this, you sick like, fuck. Like, possibly, I'm listening. I've never done it myself. Just put it down. Stealthing is this you're having sexual intercourse, right? Yep. With the condom. And then on the sneak tip, yeah. you take the condom. Yeah. So now in New York, <laughs> they're trying to make that, uh, like you can sue to the guy who does that to you. They sneak up. Wait, stealthing is a real thing where you're having sex with a condom and they take it off mid-sex. Yeah, but so, the other, so your partner doesn't know that you snuck it off. Okay. Th so they want to make this what, illegal? They want to make it illegal. I didn't know it was a thing. It's a it's a thing and it's called stealthing. Gotcha. Now you, you guys, it should be. <laughs> how can you actually so, prove that? <laughs> yes. See, how can you prove that? They're having the same how can you prove that? that? I'm trying to get. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies, we're talking about stealthing. What are your I, feelings on? That? I just don't understand. You're about how, stealthing. If you don't want to talk about that? it, it's okay. <laughs> what is so funny? Have you ever uh, have you ever dealt with this phenomenon? Stealthing? Stealthing. No. Not that I'm aware of. <laughs> oh, she could have been a, a victim of stealthing. And she not could have been. You know. just don't know. Yeah, that's true. Then again, if you take off the condom, doesn't it then feel like it feels different than when it's on? Yeah, yeah that's the thing, because I, I don't know on their end, like what's the, mm. what, if there's a difference. For us, obviously, there's a huge difference. Yeah. Feels different. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you guys, you guys doing any more Halloween activities? Uh, this coming weekend. Well, no. Well, Friday, we got fight night. Fight night. There was you guys a going to the party fight? I was yeah. going to go to. Is the Kelly and Chrissy Friday. are going? Awesome. Friday. That's why you got to go. We're all going to be there. Oh, Why are we going? Machines. Right. That's Friday. We can't go. We're going to a fight, right? Yeah. Friday, yeah. That's what we're talking That's about. That's what we're talking we're about. about. The fight. We're on, like, two different sides of the camera here. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. I kind of want to do this. Inside. Wait, can you? Wait, you would? Oh, you left me here. I really wanted to do no, this phone <laughs> Sky is back, and he has a uh, iPhone He has charger. a charger. See? Did he go uh, home to get that? Outlet. Outlet. There's um, there's only one behind me, maybe. Oh, fuck. So, ladies, let's I'll keep... be back. Yeah, you know what? It's it's just us now, girls. It's so, <laughs> it's it's Halloween season. Is this gonna reach? What are your Halloween plans? And time. also, tell me, about, tell me a little bit right about here. your costumes. Kelly, we'll start with you. Yeah. Well, I, didn't, I don't really have plans, Justin. What are you going to be, though? I don't have plans to go to a, a Halloween. A procrastinator. You, you've you've, already, you've already seen, you've already seen, seen our costume. costume. Christy was a oh, cat, what were you, cat yeah. woman. Yep. And I was a oh, seven chick. Oh, yeah. It's, At it's your party. Awesome. That's right. Christy was cat woman. And Kelly... 70s. She was a hippie. You were. She was a hipster. That's right. All right, Scott, get back in here. Come on. Get out of here. Scott, squeeze that. Squeeze that. Squeeze that. Oh, look at us. It's so cozy. I don't care. You got Scott. Not the only. It's a room right there. Oh, my God. This is dark now. But Kelly, uh, Kelly. You know what? No, it's a drink that. We're falling apart at the seams over here at the Whatever Bro podcast. We have a your lighting, yeah, is, your lighting is a lot better than ours. <laughs> yeah, some, somehow the girls have figured it out uh, much better than we have. Now we're good. You gotta go Here's lower to so catch the double chin. No, okay. <laughs> okay. We're all. See, here's the stuff. thing with split screen. You have to, we literally have to squeeze if we have a guest on. See, oh, that's right. We have to get extra. There's screen. an option where they can be in the top corner instead of split. I gotta figure that out. Yeah, you guys are hogging half the screen. Yeah, maybe take your shirts <laughs> off or something. <laughs> 
No, they, not today. Both, like, when they, <laughs> by the way, when you left, they, they first came on, we gained like 20 more viewers. Wonderful. The minute they're like, oh, wow, attractive women are there. We should jump on. No shit. Where's the attractive women? <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, no, we I love you, girl. <laughs> Friday night. All so, all can I say today <laughs> makes a year? I think we talked Christy, about this earlier. So it looks like, like that I was on the Whatever Bro podcast. <laughs> Christy. Yes, last year. <laughs> well, exactly 365 days ago is when we pretty much met you guys. Is, that's amazing. Well, it was yeah. a Halloween episode. That the was Halloween episode. That's right. We and look where we are now. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Love you. <laughs> so, uh, so Kelly. Yes. Let's revisit that episode. Oh, God. Right? Now, looking back, <laughs> do you think you were possessed <laughs> by demons at the Belmont that evening? Or do you think you were having a I just set attack? myself up for that. Yeah, you did. Were you having to freak out or were you possessed? Maybe. Me? Yeah. Listen, maybe All right, it was so you guys a, know a me. simple tummy ache. Maybe you, you just had a little digestion. Maybe it was gas. Did you have ga bad they gas? They think that you don't... freaked out. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> it's now, obvious. Christy, I think it was a mixture of both. Thing. No, I don't really know what happened to me. So I think it was real or something. You think Which something is. possessed you? <laughs> Inter <laughs> 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 well, I've got someone. Uh, she's she's yes. sticking to. <laughs> I'm sticking to the story. It felt real. Now, uh, did you believe the old fat man when he said, "Get yeah, off, get off"? <laughs> 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 Wait, what did you call him, Justin? Who called him? We're talking about this a year later. He wasn't a that's medium. He, he was, was an extra, extra large. large. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And, and, uh, and ladies, we should tell you, don't worry. Uh, Gary the Ghost Hunter is on his way to your apartment right now. <laughs> he gave me your That's awesome. Phone numbers and your addresses, and he's going to counsel you on all your ghost needs. He's going to bring equipment over that doesn't have batteries in it. But Thanks, he's gonna show us Appreciate work it. Anyway. He's going to bring his garage door opener over and show you a thing or two. <laughs> right, I'm monitor. starting to sweat, so I have to push you guys off right now. Right. I'm starting to sweat. All right. Thank you so much for joining us. I yes, love you. Yes, thank you, ladies, and we'll see you at the flight. I love Bye. you guys. Bye. 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 All right. Oh, that's some space. And we're back. Dude, those are like our best friends. Yeah, that's great. I love them. Girls. I kind of like that function. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, that's true because I was at a, I was at a par we were at a party, a uh, Halloween party on Friday. Yeah. And the Almeida sisters were there, and uh, when they left, I was like, Man, "This party really died." <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> right. Yeah. That's right. I told them the same thing. By Dude, the way. I, th I thought that. I'm like, I told them the same thing. I was like, did, I was, it, did it get that bad once they left? It wasn't that bad. It was just the fact that they they brought so much energy. They were so much fun. They were yeah. dancing. They were and dancing. The, the whole, minute yeah. they left, I, it was just kind of like. Like an exhale, like, oh, what do I do it's now? Like, oh, what do I do now? Cocaine, obviously. <laughs> it was so, where's the cocaine? It's funny you said because I told you that. I said as soon as you guys left, it kind of like took the air out of the out of the party. Those yeah. girls can party. They can they can dance. They bring a lot of energy. So, mm -hmm. so oh, been fun. a fun. year today anniversary. That's so cool. We can uh, have yeah, it's crazy. Oh yeah, that's they nice. were on the show. Again. That's when we met them. Yeah, yep. that's how we met them at the show. And Kelly said to me, she said, "Thank you so much for making me like I was very nervous. Thank you for making me feel calm." And she touched my arm. Yeah. It was true love after that, man. <laughs> That's how I felt about Gary when Gary came on. <laughs> Listen, Gary, if Gary, if you're watching, oh my God, if, Gary, please, if jump you in. if you comment on here, we'll we'll punch you in as a special guest. So he's like, not he's not watching. This. Please, not the frame, dude. That would be so, so great. Now, be... now listen, <laughs> since Gary has split personalities. Can he be in a split screen, or it will be a split split screen with all? Like, will each personality have kind of a little, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like there are multiple Garys <laughs> above us? Oh man! <laughs> yeah, but no, I thought the same thing. The Almeida sisters were so much fun. Once they left, I was like, now I have to start doing hard drugs. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, Bridget, uh, Gary didn't get mad at me. He got mad at Justin. Yeah, he got mad at me. It was that Justin? It's because you kept interrupting. He's like, well, you stop interrupting me. And I was, it was like, because every time you do interrupt, it's funny. Yeah. But he just was not having you interrupt his story about bullshit. <laughs> yeah, Gary still hits me up, Joe. I know he still hits you up mm -hmm. in the DMs. Yeah. Every and, week. Uh, yeah. I don't know what he's asking. All caps. Yeah, right? all, all caps. All, all caps. Exclamation points. <laughs> uh, just very enthusiastic, which I appreciate. 
Um, but I'm I just, don't. I'm not into ghost hunting as much as he is. Yes, he, so. wa he wants us to go ghost hunt with him. Yeah. But uh, Gary, with <laughs> the lighting's going. <laughs> <okay, laughs> Gary's right behind us, isn't he, folks? Probably. Just don't lie to us. I didn't have his face <laughs> came out <laughs> to me. <laughs> oh my God! I don't know what you're talking about, me. <laughs> now that I think about Gary, now that I think about it, I could Skype with someone on this. Dude, ah. could we do this? Definitely could. Wait, there's, there's no limit to what we can do now. There's no limit. As long as that TV's there and this is here. Dying. Oh, what, the podcast? No, uh, Bridge. Oh, Bridge is dying, <laughs> yes. Anyways, what do you oh, guys want to talk worst, about? The worst part, by the way, I went to get my charger, and my dog's like, oh my god, finally you're home, and I ran right back out. <laughs> he literally, that's it's never like, happened before. Like, <laughs> He's like, what are you, <laughs> bro, it's the worst fucking feeling. Can't I thought you loved it. Yeah, but he'll, he'll be back in a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. That, yeah. that makes everything better, right? Mm. Not to him. <laughs> Alright, guys, I have a topic here. Alright. Yeah. All right, it's, ha it's Halloween. You gotta wear a costume. Yeah. But now, the new, and this is what I was talking about earlier, cultural appropriation is the new buzzword. Example, the movie Moana, right? Disney had to pull their Maui costumes off the shelf because of cultural appropriation. What does that mean? I can't believe All that. right, so if you're taking, you're taking uh, elements from uh, a different culture, for example. So you're getting, you're, you're profiting from elements of other cultures when you're not that culture. Sure. If you were, so they're saying, hey, my culture is not a costume. So if you were wearing, for example, an Indian headdress yeah. is a big example. Yeah. A Native American's going to say, what the fuck, bro? What am I, a costume? Am I a joke? There's no way. Am I a clown? I'm making you laugh? There's, ah. there's, no, there's no loophole around that to say we're not selling it as a costume. We're selling it as, as apparel. I mean, I don't, that's crazy. <laughs> This part of this country fucking oh, it's fuck. sucks sometimes, too. It's an oversensitivity yeah. of, of everything. So social I, justice, right? Yeah, social so justice. I, I, have, I have the top five. I looked uh, online. Here's the top five things from, from social justice warriors not to wear this Halloween season. <laughs> All right. Number one, and I will fully agree with this one, do not show up to a Halloween party in blackface. Oh, can't do it. Yeah. Yeah, you can't, can't do, do it. You can't do blackface. Well, that, yeah, blackface and that... Wait, what would that costume be, though? What would that, all right, what would that we costume We had a friend be? that went as Mr. T one year. Yeah, Alan. Um, but see, that's I think that's fine if yeah, he's Mr. He was, T. And he was, um, it was kind of a I homage. Think that, I think that's, uh, Mr. T is such an icon that you should be able to be Mr. T whether you're white or black. Yeah, you should be able to, to be black-faced yeah, if it's, you have a good Mr. T costume. Because, like, if I decided to paint my body green and be the Incredible Hulk, am I then racist towards don't you people dare. who have radioactive blood? <laughs> Don't you dare go green. Face on yeah. I was, I had a mustache party once. This wasn't Halloween. It wasn't anything like that. Um, I was Jules Samuel L. Jackson from Pulp Fiction. Yep. I shouldn't have, but I did paint my skin. Wait, wait, but why shouldn't you have? Because I, I never would have thought well, that was. Well, I don't know. At, at the time, I was like, I just really love Pulp Fiction, and I want to be Jules from Pulp Fiction. Bring a gun and wear the suit, and and I had I had the, yeah. the goatee in the afro. It was. Perfect. See, I see but the, you went in blackface. I went blackface. Yeah, oh. yeah, but it wasn't. It's part of the costume, and his costume that, was good. See, yeah. I, I think yeah. I think as a comedian, you get it twisted sometimes. Not twisted, but we have a different thought process. We're gonna do a anything for a laugh. We don't really think about whether it's you know uh, offensive to anybody else. Yeah, I don't like. Think... Have you not been? Have you not done or been? Something that is oh offensive? definitely oh definitely yeah, yeah. I I, was, I just uh, think that's what, what we do. Yeah, I also I, just, I wouldn't do it again. It's hard to it's just it's hard to imagine that's offensive because it's like it's not like you're making fun of anything black. Like you're trying to be Jules from Pulp Fiction, one of the baddest motherfuckers on screen. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of an homage to the character more yeah. than it is like a, an offense. If anything, it's more respect for the fact that man, I wish I was I was Jules. It's yeah, be Jules. You know, I got a couple that day. I got a couple of eyes like from. African Americans, like oh, what the you fuck? Is the black guy? people in the blackface oh, costume? Literally, there were like two of them, two black people there. Oh, and they gave yeah. me better looks. And See, well, yeah, but looks, but didn't give me shit at all. It was kind of just like, come on, man. Yeah. <laughs> and and then I afterwards was like, ah, oh, man, maybe that was a mistake. You know what? Too, I think it's. I was doing it for the character, yeah. for the movie. I That's what I did it for. I think the first, from a black person, their first perspective would be like, fuck this. But I think once they see your demeanor and they know you're kind of like a jokester. Yeah. They still want to kick your ass. They still want to step. 
I just so, think it's I, I gotta say, I, once the once the makeup was on before I left the house, I, I actually thought about it and was like, oh man, I'm actually nervous now. Oh really? This is big. Yeah. Uh, I, I had something similar. This could be the last day of my life. Right? <laughs> Somebody might get offended by it. Yeah. I, I had something similar last year. I don't know if you guys remember. Uh, there was this guy, Jihadi John, and he was all over the news because he kept like. He was a Muslim guy, and he was with ISIS, and he wore like, it almost looked like a ninja costume, where his head was like, he had a black thing on, and just his eyes showed, Yeah. and he always had the, he was always cutting people's heads off. This was the real person. This was the real person. They called him Jihadi John. He was like a, they eventually found him and killed him. He was like a British Muslim guy that joined ISIS. Right. Um, but it's, he would always wear like this black costume with just his eyes showing, and he would cut people's heads off, journalists and yeah. you know, prisoners and whatnot. So... I was jihadi John last year. But see, I think that's fucked up. <laughs> wait, wait, I, think Scott, that, I think that's worse than wait, Jules. Scott was cool with blackface. <laughs> yeah, and no. jihadi John is crossing the line. <laughs> <laughs> so, wait, I'm not wait. painting my skin. Wait, you know? if you first I'm of all, I'm already brown. No, wait, first, of first of all, first of all, first of all, where are you going? Uh, I went to. Um, uh, I went to a few different places. It was dude, like, ISIS is like the worst motherfuckers in the world, dude. It's like I don't know. I, and I ran into a veteran. <laughs> I ran, of course, I ran into a fucking veteran of the Iraq war. What, what did he say to you? <laughs> he thought it was great. Really? He thought it was funny, but you know you know where I got fucked? First of all, you. what I realized is this. Because I went on a pub crawl in Fall River, Halloween pub crawl. You can wear whatever the fuck you want in Fall River. Thank God. You can always count on Fall River for a yeah. few things. Yeah. Like, for them to be, like, as ignorant as possible. So, like, you can wear any costume. And they're like, Man, that's great. That's hilarious. But I went to Providence. Yeah. And I went to a party, yeah. and there were some uh, SJWs at this party, social justice warriors. Yeah. And this girl came up to me, and she played me at first. She goes, oh, I love your costume. So great. I was like, oh, thanks. Yeah, I'm Johnny John. She goes, oh, cool. I'm Johnny John. Yeah. <laughs> she nice goes, to meet you. Yeah. She goes, oh, cool. Like cute blonde, right? Yeah. She goes, oh, cool. So you think all Muslims are terrorists. <laughs> <laughs> No, that, see, that's too much. I just would be like, ah, oh, man, ISIS is a bunch of motherfuckers. Why are you trying to dress like them? But like, they're bad people. I love that you would have shot each other to Providence. Not to, like, was it a house party in Providence? <laughs> no, it was like a, kind of like, a, it was like a random, like, after hours, like, kind of mill gotcha. spot thing. My friend was DJing. But here's what I did, quick thinking, and you guys can use this in the future. Uh, she's like, <laughs> <Nice>. uh, she's... <laughs> Thanks for the permission. She, she said, um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the term ally. She goes, I'm an ally. To people of color, which is basically yeah. saying like she's just some dumb white bitch yeah, I, I who, wants, who wants brownie points, yeah. yeah, and and she's offended on the behalf of minorities and, and specifically uh, Arab people. So I went over her head. I went, oh yeah. She went check. I said check, Nick, <laughs> and I said, how dare you? I am Lebanese. <laughs> I I was born in Lebanon. I am. You do look like yeah. you could be Lebanese, and I'm, I'm brown. brown. And I said. I am an Arab myself, and this is my way. Wow. I deal with these situations through humor, and this is how I express myself culturally. Shut the fuck How up. dare you? <laughs> Only <laughs> Justin could pull that out of his ass that quick. And she immediately was like, oh my god, I'm, I'm so, so sorry. sorry. I'm an ally. But she was like, listen, that's okay. Down. Yeah. Yeah. Get down here. I swear but to god, he's the tension. Johnny I, I swear to god, I could have hooked up with her just yeah. because she felt so yeah. guilty and she yeah. thought I was actually and Arab. you didn't use that guilt. No, I didn't use it. Because I'm such a fucking great guy. You hear me? <laughs> I would have totally been like free, free, free BJ, man. Right? Yeah, Johnny yeah. John. So uh, if you get any, that's my advice to anyone watching. If you get any criticism this year, if you dress up as a Native American, you just go, "How dare you? I am actually Native American, or I am Muslim." <laughs> this or, is how I yeah. express myself culturally. Or Joe, you say, "I am a black guy." <laughs> <laughs> See, I don't know if that's gonna work in my case. But... So that's what we got. It. 907. What do you think, guys? I think it was a, a good episode. I think I just wasted my time to get my fucking charger. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good, though. We, no, I, think we had a, I think we had a good this run. This was a good episode. This is fun. I love this. To be honest, I think this looks wonderful. So I like the setup. Yeah, the setup looks great. Setup. I yeah. love and the And then we, we can also work on it. We can yeah, work like on the aesthetics. Things. Maybe even. Honestly, Joe, maybe next time in front of this curtain. That curtain's badass. Yeah. That would be cool. We're, we'll, we'll bring it all there. Yeah, like just the curtain. Maybe get the gorilla in there. I think even just the curtain yeah. without the TV would work. Yeah. I love how we discuss uh, like serious business on the air. <laughs> well, you know, it's real. 
It's, it's real. real. And we might even might even get the gorilla in there. Oh, oh, guy. We are going to try an episode with Jeff helping us out being a cameraman to see one, which would allow us, he would basically sit here. Joe could sit over there. Justin could sit here. We could actually... Kirk, have, Kirby loves the setup. Thank you, Kirk. Nice she will be here as well. And we could actually have, like... A conversation like we would never, if we were here without a camera, be sitting like this, correct? Right. You'd be over there, I'd be over here. So we could have Jeff who could sit here following in the middle, us, following us, and also contribute and be a part of it. When he wants to talk, flip the camera to his face. I would never flip. Maybe not, but his camera shot. Uh, Jeff, Jeff, way, could, his voice could be on. Uh, yeah, he could Jeff, just sit on the chair and just yeah. boom, boom, boom. Yep, and yep. I think uh, Jeff has gone camera shy yeah. these days. I would be. Uh, Jeff's always been camera shy. Because uh, he used to be on the camera with us, remember? Yeah, I don't yeah, think he ever but he was him. never a huge fan. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah, he would he, much rather do like the soundboard and the technical shit. He mm. does do it for his own show though, and doesn't mind it, right? Or does he not? Oh, that's true. He does it on his own that's show. That's something he loves to do. He's yeah. also get got used to it too. Right? Yeah, it's, he runs the show. Yeah, three year geek podcast out on Thursdays. Maybe he doesn't do it every Thursday. It's, every other Thursday. It's every yeah, three year geek. Check it out. Check it out. Whatever old podcast. This was great. Thank you very much. Brought to you by North Star Concrete. Don't be a stiff. <laughs> it's getting really hot. Love you, bro.